This exhibition, which brings together the work of five artists from across the world, is called Chronicles of a Disappearance. And all of these artists explore in these specific works notions of latency and disappearance articulated across the personal, the social, and the political realms. All of the works offer rich, associative, and narrative histories and explore, of course, the central issue of mortality, absence, and loss. Perhaps the political consideration is dominant in this exhibition as all of the uh, artists are forcing the viewer to confront historical trauma or political realities. The exhibition begins with Taryn Simon's work, uh, an American photographer who offers us an amazing photographic suite called An American Index of the Hidden and Unfamiliar. It's a large uh, photo text project where under various categories such as medicine, nature, religion, politics, the artist explores certain foundational myths of the United States and explores like a detective or an informant areas that are normally inaccessible to the American public. A wonderful work which uh, relates her photographs to these very precise and contextualizing texts. On the fourth floor of the main building we have a wonderful film by Omer Fast called 5,000 Feet is the Best which very interestingly confuses documentary and fictional forms. The center of the work is an interview with an American drone operator who is based in Las Vegas and uh, sends uh, homicidal drones across the world. It's an exploration of his virtual stress. The film confuses matters by also staging interviews with a fictional drone operator and various fictional digressions which are related to notions of space and video games and explorations of remote distance. Uh, it's a fascinating and sometimes baffling work. Perhaps a central work of this exhibition is a work by Philippe Pereno, a film installation in a large room, uh, a short seven minute film, but a beautiful work shot in 70 millimeter called June 8, 1968. The film is a reenactment of the train journey that carried um, assassinated Senator Robert Kennedy's corpse from New York to Washington for the official funeral. And along the tracks, we have dozens and dozens of people silently witnessing this historical event and perhaps uh, suggesting that a moment, a failed utopia has just occurred. A lost hope is drifting by. We are on the train with the invisible body and the projection is vast so that the people on screen and the spectators in the room are of the same scale and together form a community of mourners around this invisible body traveling in both space and in time. 